Hi, this is Raphael Mudge, the creator of Cobalt Strike. In this video, I'm going to show you how to pass a session from Core Impact to Cobalt Strike. Here we are on a Windows 10 system with Core Impact, and I've already developed some access. And the Cobalt Strike GUI client connected to a team server in Amazon's Elastic Computing Cloud. What we want to do is pass an egress foothold from Agent Zero to Cobalt Strike. And we also want to pass a, a name pipe beacon from Agent Two to Cobalt Strike so our foothold beacon can assume control of it. Let me show you what that looks like. Here we are in Cobalt Strike. Let's go to Attacks, Packages, Windows Executable S. Choose our listener. We're going to start with our egress beacon, our HTTP beacon. Choose raw as the type of output. And we're going to do 64, 64 uh, bit payload. Let's generate and we'll save that as a beacon.http.x64.bin. Press OK. Let's come over here to Core Impact. And we're going to run that on Agent Zero. So let's come over to Modules, which is the Core Impact Module Browser, and we're going to search for Run Shellcode in Temporary Process. And this is the Impact Module to run Position Independent Code in a Temporary Process, kind of like Cobalt Strike's Fork and Run. So we're going to drag that onto uh, Agent Zero, choose 64-bit, press dot dot dot, Navigate to the file, beacon HTTP x64.bin, press OK, and let's come over to Cobalt Strike. There's our new agent. So that's an example of passing a session from Core Impact to Cobalt Strike. Now let's just do the same with one more beacon. We're going to pass an SMB beacon and link to it just to show that. So let's go to Attacks, Packages, Windows Executable S. Uh, choose dot dot dot. We're going to do the Windows Beacon Bind Pipe, uh, our SMB listener, raw, 64 bit, generate. We will call it beacon.smb.x64.bin. Press OK. Let's come over to Core Impact. And we're going to inject that agent into the file server's beacon agent too. So same thing, run shellcode and temporary process. And you'll see the module remembers the previous parameters. We'll keep it 64, press dot, 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 grab the SMB beacon, press OK. And now the code should be running in that module, or excuse me, in that uh, in the file server. Well, let's come over here and let's link to the file server on uh, the pipe associated with the SMB beacon, and there you go. We can see we have uh, passed a pivot beacon as well. So those are examples of how to pass sessions from Core Impact to Cobalt Strike. I hope you've enjoyed it. Good luck and happy hacking.